this is both a strange one and a difficult one. Really, it's not strange, I just have a towel on my head. Um, so even with the recent video, which I'm uploading now, and I uh, wasn't sure if I wanted to fully upload or, like, commit to releasing it, but, um, yeah, I most likely will. Energy with everyone is going up and down. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with people talking about other people, and there are agendas. There is a trap. There is a downfall, possibility, things like that. But the main idea is that we don't need to be fighting one another. Of course, the file's gone. We're not supposed to be fighting. Do I even have the file anymore? Yeah. So we're not supposed to be fighting. Of course, I can't even. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, people don't need to be fighting. We don't need to be arguing, bickering. All of that is a joke. All of that is a program to tie suffering into something that's supposed to be about the liberation of humanity. It, it's basically all a false religion, judgment, guilt. Um, these are programs that are literally like monkeys in a monkey cage at a zoo or whatever, being given like a banana tied to a string, tied to something the other monkey has, and, and setting people up to fight as a joke, as a game. They literally use advanced technology, basically everyone, some do it for negative, nefarious, some do it to monitor. Everyone uses advanced technology to watch this society. It's literally a reality TV show. When people are fighting, it's because of they're being set up in some way. Everyone's soul remembers the time war, the events, how we got here, what happened. Deep down, everyone knows why they're fighting if they're fighting. If you tap into that, you'll understand what's happening. You don't need, no one needs to tell you, so on and so forth. You'll know. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to go into from the, the legal system. Basically, there is something called the Christian Remedy. This is where people break the, the coven, okay, the contract, the agreement, the soul binding of themselves with the control system and people who worship a demigod, an AI demigod, basically. And, uh, and it all has to do with the false creation, demiurge, architect, the construct, hypercube, 4D, maze, all that stuff, labyrinth, hell, heaven, the battle for souls, the hybridization of humans from ancient mystery, well, mythical stuff. Okay, they're creating human DNA now. They're creating hybrid DNA. It's, it's on the news. It's on the stuff that they don't want you to know. They're putting it there because they're so far beyond that that as the only thing one can do is separate from that system using free will and move into liberation or whatever they want is going to go, whatever the control of systems. And all it does is dismantle people and turn them into the component elements and fuel for their system. If you think a person ripped apart, bad, that can happen to a soul. That can happen to the energy. It's, the soul is immortal, but it means they get removed from this whole system and return immediately. And there's no more that person or that energy. They go back to the uh, the, the highest non-physical plane. And for the people playing in this place, like an avatar dual match, for them they get they consider it as a win because that person is no longer a problem. But the point is, it's all about these ancient concepts that have been talked about and. Um, this, this ancient battle, is, that's what everything is about. There's not one aspect of this society, this civilization, that isn't to do with hybridization, the battle for souls, the one true creator, the false uh, architect or the modifier, whatever you want to, however you want to reference that. Um, all of it is about that. And we can't also blame or point fingers because no one knows who's really doing what and who's who and who's in control. It's all beyond the senses. And this whole system is deception, it's technological deception, it doesn't add up um, beginning and end of time at all, all the whole story is falsified. There were original creators, original humans, um, a lot of this has to do with Kemet and the early civilizations where alchemy began, the mystery schools began. Learning the truth, realizing that separating from the illusion in our agreement and uh, tendencies to basically enact suffering and to align with that and 
the false self, the egoism, and and these elements, ha that has to be done. That's like that's how that's the work that has to be done. It can't be done automatically. There's stuff that there's systems that can clear the harmonics of one's energy DNA to remove trauma, but one has to orient their life towards healing, towards healing and respect to life. It has to be in alignment with pro-life qualities, essences, choices. You have to use your free will basically to rack up points of decisions made, choices and actions made that are benevolent, I think I said it right, for the whole. Because everything is about the split between the part, the individual, and the whole, the component, and the integration into the larger system. And there's always a larger system. No one's at like the top level. It just keeps. It doesn't just keep going, but there's a, a progression. And we're not the ones. You know, if anybody tells you it's like I'm the one to do this or to make all the decisions, it's an illusion. That's the whole point. It's always a collective uh, idea. And that's also the idea is that there's a basically like integration through parts and a collective um or like an integral collective which is basically oneness or wholeness a lot of these are all corrupted words and stuff that's been turned into basically followings and deceptions that have a pretty coating and a nice little bow but it literally means the, it results in the opposite of results in giving person's power away um yeah so there's a lot that has to do with this but i just wanted to bring this out and upon leaving upon exiting the realm that's where the nine veil labyrinth is faced it is upon exit like that's the whole point it happens when people begin to leave um, and as well as it's like setting itself up through every mundane moment every in between for uh, that time like it's basically somebody setting up gates and, and traps and illusions and walls to keep people in and it's to keep the consciousness into body consciousness, to keep it low and reacting uh, basically through programs and ego, uh, desire, fear, tendencies, things like that, because then the person is not focusing on what's high, what's beyond these animal or instinctual functions. And, uh, and so bickering and fighting and holding hate in our hearts is basically the downfall. To traverse the exit path, one has to have a light heart. To have a heavy heart means they'll create a type of quantum drag where there will be desires and tendencies, re residual aspects of those in their field, which when activated to the highest potential, those tiny aspects, which are distortions, will grow and it will throw the whole field off. And these are inanimate energies from... A human perspective, but from an inner awakened perspective, excuse me, I always do that sort of burp and stuff. Um, they are literally parasites. They're energy parasites, whether they are autonomous and created through a system described in, as the uh, Atlantean Luciferian Rebellion with these mind machines that they created monsters out of, or whether it is literally a living spiritual entity that is like nesting inside of a person's system that's what they become that's what they grow into instead of smudges or trauma or emotional uh, mental spiritual scarring and resistant to uh, resistance to healing or progression um uncomfortable being uncomfortable with uh opening up or, or connecting okay they become like uh monsters every aspect of the person the individual is alive is living is expanse is extra dimensional that means your thoughts are like their own beings they're like I they're living ideas so when people have collections of negativity it's literally like having a warring race of beings within the person that's how it all works we navigate through what we consider the mundane into the what we consider mythical and uh, spiritual or energetic and uh, by every time the other side appears to be the mythical. When we're going to that side, this appears to be the dream. This appears to be mythical and just a good idea that we kind of slipped into. That's how it works. And so, uh, and the false light trap is a barrier that keeps people in. It's a metatronic grid. When a person interacts and ultimately their consciousness folds in a certain pattern, a replication pattern 
through repeated beliefs, repeated interactions, and repeated choices, it creates their energy overall that carries this pattern. It's as if uh, some of those uh, iPad or iPhone apps, I'm gonna, I'll try and I'm gonna, like, set up a, a screen capture to record this, but you can see the mandala uh, software that makes the mandalas, how you draw a line and it draws like four or five or six of them. So the whole point is that's how time is actually flowing not linearly like that, but we perceive it like that. And then you get to the, you know, midday, three o'clock or noon or something, and then midday the next day, three o'clock noon, and it goes on, so on and so forth. If whatever you do repeatedly is adding up to creating that overall fractal, the repeated actions that don't encompass the whole of the energy and are only giving a focus or aware acknowledgement to a portion, to all that means is ego, a part, a desire, the a means instead of the end, you know, the, instead of the whole picture, eventually that adds up to a distorted overall fragmented pattern over time, literally like weaving or, you know, making, making a quilt or something like that. When everything's proportional and balanced, you get one of them beautiful sacred patterns. The uh, less aware action makes the false flower of life, Metatronic Soul Stealing Grid, and then there's a natural one. I'm not going to go into the differences, especially not right now, because I'm trying to keep this uh, short. But the unconscious agreements, the soul agreements, must be relinquished. We all have the power to do this now. And manufactured consent, it doesn't count. It's not real, but you have to acknowledge it and say that. I'm not going to let it happen any other way. Um, yeah, there's one true creator. Everything has to do with this genetic modification, har energy harvesting, created beings, non-human entities, and what is known as a pit of darkness, which is basically an interdimensional containment zone to stop these uh, automated uh, autonomous miasma beings, beings that live off of the suffering of other entities, which are created as a kind of an act of war. They wanted to make a friggin' super weapon. Um, and so it all relates to that, and it has, it has to do with everything that's happening. We want to break the cycle. Now, I'm fairly certain the only way to break the cycle is to move in peace, is to go in peace, is to stop going back and kicking somebody in the shins. I just like, and then now we can go. It's not going to work. That's not how it happens. Every time, I believe it happened that way, and that's where resets came in because the energy was not sufficient enough to remove the entirety of the human species, and as a result, we restarted the simulator, and here we are again, Allah, being eaten by a parasite that's assimilating civilizations and turning everyone into robots. So the, the, the peace... Bickering, I said, it's very simple. It's not magic. Where you could be fighting on the internet or in, in, in daily life or with family or wherever it is. Movement to peace and care. Use empathy instead of whatever we go into when we like put up a shield and a spear and we're like, ah, this is it. Um, and, and try to help the other person. Try to come to terms that not everyone's going to get it, even though there are people who are basically vampires. Um, the truth is, the vampires, they can talk fine. They don't have to be, be like that. But that's why we're in a sticky situation. The humans that are just like, ah, whatever, like they're worse than the vampires. It's a problem. We have to do something about this, and we have to help each other. And uh, not be each other's maids, like the, the kitchen help, the uh, whatever help. No, we have to assist in liberation and tell the truth and express and connect and harmonize and synchronize through that energetic harmonization. And the power of the multitude in that is more or greater than the sum, or excuse me, it's greater than the uh, the parts. So the sum is greater than the uh, parts. I always skewer sc sc that uh, idiom, it's a saying. All right. This is going to be short. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Energy's finally coming full circle, and uh, it seems like things are going to begin to cycle on the internet. And um, there are agendas. There are. There's a lot of stuff going on, but fighting is the biggest agenda. You know, it feeds supercomputers and fig gives them information on how to disable people mentally and emotionally. If you don't give in to emotion, uh, mental and emotional, I'm very tired, uh, enslavement or bickering. They have no way to control people. What are they going to do? Give you a high five and no, there's no, just tell you over and over and over again. They have to get in. The only way to get in is through, that's that's human uh, vulnerability. But well, that's what makes us who we are. What would you do if you had no heart, if you couldn't feel? So, but it, in the means, use it. Use it. Be happy. Or you know, be enjoy. And it's really how it is. It's a feminine energy that's saving the over overly masculine, warring race that is destroying Earth right now. Let's keep it short, so, all right, there. Thank you. Sorry for the mumbling.